This is Tanzania in East Africa. Children in this part of the world struggle from day to day. Their only hope of breaking out of this struggle is through education. But good education costs money, and so the poverty continues. But there is a school in Tanzania which is changing the lives of the poorest children and giving hope to both them and their families. This is the School of St. Jude, a school that is fighting poverty through education. The School of St. Jude opened in 2002 with just three children and one teacher. Seven years later, it is now providing free education to almost 1,200 of Tanzania's poorest children. But what would happen if the school wasn't here? Without St. Jude's, many of the students would be forced into manual labour as young as 10 years old, like many other local children. With an enormous shortage of schools, teachers and, of course, funding, only 6% of young people in Tanzania can go to secondary school. Yet without an education, these children will be starting their young lives with little prospect of ever earning enough to break out of poverty. And this is something St. Jude's is determined to change. This is George's first day at school. He was one of the lucky ones George's family are extremely poor and could never have afforded to pay for him to go to school. Every year the school accepts approximately 180 new students. Tests are held every week from August to November and every week thousands of children arrive, competing for one of the few precious places. In order to make the system as fair as possible, children from the poorest local families are selected. George has just been given a school uniform, a luxury his parents could never have afforded. In addition to this, he will receive his books and all other necessary school supplies. George's mother knows that by studying at St. Jude's, he will have a much better opportunity to get a job in the future and help his family improve their circumstances. The school relies on the kindness of sponsors from around the world to raise enough money to keep this project alive. The continued support of these sponsors is vital to the school's survival. It is an enormous undertaking to provide the basic essentials for almost 1,200 students. In the last few years, the school has incurred huge expense building the boarding houses, a secondary school and a second campus. This is enabling St. Jude's to provide a quality education that will be of enormous value to these children who would otherwise be attending one of the local government schools and unlikely to make it to secondary school. These schools are overcrowded and under-equipped with up to 100 children in a classroom, making it extremely difficult to learn. Just two days after George started at the school, he was lucky enough to get a sponsor. His new sponsor is Anne, an Irish woman who is travelling in Tanzania. Anne and George are meeting for the first time. Anne, accompanied by one of the teachers, Mayasi, is going to visit George's family on the outskirts of Arusha. It's a long trip to George's house. This is the trip George takes to school every day. When he has to study seriously for his exams in a few years' time, he will stay in the boarding house from Sunday to Friday. But for now, he lives at home. All of the academic staff at the school are local teachers and times can be tough for them also. Despite having a good job, it can be difficult to make ends meet. This teacher, Mary, lives with her family in a small house with no electricity and with three children to take care of. This is very challenging. Basic chores like cooking, bathing, washing, all have to be done outdoors. Having a stable job at the school means that Mary can afford to feed her children and send them to school. Teachers also have sponsors who help pay for their wages. At the school, they are given ongoing professional development so that they can excel at teaching and improve their future career prospects. 
In turn, the future students of these teachers will be given the very best quality education. Now George's family are waiting to welcome Anne and Mayasi to their home. George's family live in a one-room house. Uh, so George is saying that he likes to play football here at home and he, he has his brother, Kelvin. Does he like to play with his sister? Na unapenda kucheza na wasichana pia? Ah, he said no. Kwa nini? I am a teacher and I understand the importance of education and I am so pleased that George has got a place in St Jude's mm. and I wish him every best in his future. And I brought a few things for um, George and his family. And um, um, I'm a little bit of a church, it's our church for Adelia, George and our dogs. He might like to give that to his little sister. Anne went to the market and was able to buy some small gifts for the family. And most important of all, a school bag for all those books yeah, nah. to carry home. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so, so she's so pleased to oh. be, you to be here and she's so grateful. Oh. Mm. Thank you for the school bag. You're very welcome, George. Mm. The School of St Jude has had outstanding success. Just last year, the first group of students sat the Tanzanian National Examinations and out of one million children in the country who sat these exams, one of the students in the school came in 28th position and another two students came in the top 150. To think that these gifted children might never have been educated if it were not for this school. Sponsoring a child will dramatically transform the lives of both the children and their families. With regular reports and letters, sponsors have direct contact with the student and their teachers. The facilities here are very basic. They have an outdoor toilet, a chicken coop and a small area for cooking. It can be difficult for visitors to witness such poor living conditions as these. But George's little sister, Queen, has a special treat planned for the visitors. Uh, she's cooking. So you see this? Uh, uh, she's, cook uh, she's cooking a food for us. Queen has no toys, but is blessed with a great imagination. That's the, she's making fire. To welcome her guests, George's mother has prepared a local Tanzanian speciality, vitumbua, which is made of rice. Mm. Oh. Tea and vitumbua are a rare treat for George, and when Queen sees what's going on, she wants the same as her big brother. And like George, Queen wants to learn English. It's getting dark, so it's time for Anne and Mayasi to go home. Arusha is full of children like George who are desperate for the opportunity to go to St. Jude's. However, this isn't possible without the help of sponsors. While this school can only help a limited few, those students who will graduate from St. Jude's will be able to help many more of their fellow Tanzanians. And this is where the real power of this school lies. If you are interested in supporting the school, you can contact them by going to the school's website or you can email schoolofstjude at habari.co.tz.